You can embed a video player from the YOLOcast platform on your website. On the YOLOcast embed page, what we have here at the bottom is our HTML code that you need to place into your website's HTML code for the player to show up. This is the code that creates and links your player to your live streams from YOLOcast. Everything above this is letting us configure and select options that generate this HTML code, which then determines how our player will work and look. The first option, media type. Selecting events will show your live streamed events in the player. Selecting media videos creates a player that will allow visitors to your website to view videos that you select from your media center which is a collection of your previous live streams, as well as any videos you've uploaded. So let's choose events to show what we're about to live stream. Filter lets us limit what events the player will show. So if you only want a certain source or a certain event that you've created to show up in this player, you could select that. For example, if you have a weekly reoccurring event that you wanna show on a particular page of your website, you would choose by event, and then select that event and only that reoccurring event would show up in this player. I could see that being useful for churches that have a reoccurring Sunday live stream and want that to show up on the live worship page of their website, but then also have other live events that occur during the week and you want those on different pages of your website. Say your youth group or some other activity, you could use the filter to accomplish that. Integration method lets us choose what type of HTML code it will use for the player. JavaScript, inline frame, or just provide a link to a player that is hosted on the YOLOcast server. You'll need to select whichever works best for your web server and browser. I'm gonna choose inline, which seems to work best in my browser. Layout lets us choose what other details we wanna show. Full featured with the player, details, and comments section, just the player and description, or only the player. What you can see if you twirl down this integration functions area, when you choose different layouts, it's selecting different subsets of these features. So even after you choose one of the options, you can fine tune what will be shown and how your player will look even more using these options. And there are some pretty big features hidden in these checkboxes. For example, the collect donations checkbox allows you to make a link available for your viewers to give donations. If I have that checked here for my player, in my event, when I create a new event, under the advanced settings, there is a checkbox to enable donations for this event. When that is checked, I can now enter a URL for a third-party donation platform, as well as a custom message for my viewers. Size determines if the browser is resized, if the player will change size as well. Or you can set it to fixed and force the video to be a certain dimension. Fixed can break certain website layouts, so unless you have a specific purpose for setting it to fixed, I just leave it as responsive. Now that we've completely configured the code for our player, I'm gonna click the copy code button and that will copy this HTML code to my computer's clipboard. How you use this code is going to depend on how you have your website hosted. I have a WordPress site, so that's what I'm going to demonstrate. So the steps for getting this onto your website may be different depending on what website host you're using, but it will probably be a very similar process. In WordPress, I'm going to create a new page. I'll call it Live. And now what I want to do is add custom HTML to my page. So I'm gonna click the plus to add a block and then click browse all and scroll down to custom HTML. And here I can paste in my player code from the clipboard. Click update and now that page will show up on my website with the player. And because I don't have an event currently scheduled, it's showing my previous live stream. Because of the way I configured this player, it will show any of my live streamed events. I don't have to update the embed code on the website or any keys. Anytime I live stream an event from YOLOcast, it will show up in this player.